Hello, it's good to be with you again on BOI Impact, the Bank of Industry's flagship program where we bring you testimonies of how BOI is transforming Nigeria's industrial sector. I am Shim Olagunju. As the foremost development finance institution, the Bank of Industry maintains its commitment to its mission of transforming Nigeria's industrial sector by providing financial and business support services to enable new businesses emerge and existing enterprises thrive. BOI has proactively been assisting its customers to mitigate the financial and technical challenges faced in their businesses. This week's edition of the program will feature some of the beneficiaries of the Bank of Industries MSME Development Fund in Katsina and Sokoto states. Our spotlights are on Plasmatex Nigeria Limited in Katsina, Climax Petroleum Products, a subsidiary of Nesit Nigeria Limited, and Bayou Multi Resources, a nylon manufacturing company, both in Sokoto State. These beneficiaries are some of those who have stood their ground in ensuring that the facilities accessed from the Bank of Industry are judiciously utilized by converting comparative advantages in their states to competitive ones. Our first stop is in Katsina State, where the BOI Impact crew visited Plasmatex Nigeria Limited, a nylon production company. Please stay with us. Nylon production business is a very lucrative business that can be ventured into in Nigeria and make real profits. The market for nylon is big due to its high demand by individuals and businesses that have the need to package items for domestic and industrial purposes such as bagging, shopping packaging and many more. Plasmatex Nigeria Limited is one of the companies in Katsina State that has ventured into the business and is doing very well through the support from BOI. Welcome to Plasmatix Nigeria Limited. My name is uh, Mohamed Sadiq Mouta. I'm the MD CEO. So come with me to see the factory place. This is our printer. It's a four color flexographic printer that we use to print for people that sell pure water, beverages like yogurt, uh, drinks, but that comes in such it. Like I said, it's a four color printer. That means you can print four colors at the same time. As you can see, this is a two color printing we are doing right now. But you can print up to four colors at the same time. This is the, pre this is the plain roll. You fix it and it goes. Uh, it goes from the first color second color and at the front is where you get your your final product that's the rule so this 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 a brief about the printing it's a very good uh, flexographic printing machine this is an automatic cutting and sealing machine it can take even up to six rolls if they are small 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 rolls okay, the rolls passes here this is why you have your sealer it sits up and down as you can see it's a double machine. It's a double, double, double stage machine. This is a sealer. This is a sealer also. So it seals the one that comes from the top. It seals there, and the other that comes from the under. It seals there. So this is the cutter. This is a cutting blade. It cuts. It cuts at this place. Then the operator will pack it. So this is the final product. This is why you have your nylon from the punching side. It becomes nylon. This is the small size nylon. You see it that makes it makes the two hands. So that's the final product. It's not a nylon bag. Finally. Then from here, 
the parcels will pack whatever you have. They will pack it and make it in bundles before buying it. Mr. Mohammed spoke on how the company was able to acquire nylon producing machines through the help of BOI. Plasmatics Nigeria Limited was incorporated 12th of April 2010. We started commercial production uh, 2013, November 18th precisely. Before then, we tested our machine sometimes in October, mid-October. Uh, I think the beginning to, to, to mid of October, we come and commission the factory, tested the machines. We have printing department, we have extruding, that's why we make the nylon bags, then the recycling, we have a, a, a mini recycling per se. So these are the three main departments in Plasmatics Nigeria Limited. We realized that in Kasana Metropolis, there is no any standard packaging company for making both the plastic nylons and to serve the beverage companies in Kazana. That's the pure water people and people that make uh, their drinks and sachets. So that's when the idea came. So we came in and, 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 and set up Plasmatics Nigeria in order to, to, to bridge the gap in packaging products in Kazana. When we're about to start, I think sometimes in 2010, me and one of the directors of Plasmatics, we went to Taiwan. To this particular company, we got our machines, that's High Plus Machineries. So we talked with them, we got quotation, we identified what we want. We came back to Nigeria with a quotation of about $190,000 and we don't have the money. So one day, the Amino Abba Ali, that's one of our directors, advised that we should look into back of industry since they are development bank that usually finance this type of uh, project. So we went there, I think I met the secretary. So I asked her first, this is what we are into, this is what we want to do. Yeah, she said, excellent. I told her we have already even started sending money. She said, ah, that's excellent, that shows our commitment. So she gave us the guideline. We went and see what we can do. So that's the way the process starts. So in a nutshell, uh, you know, Bank of Industry has been very supportive because the, the, then they saw what we were going to do and they supported us because without the bank, honestly, I don't know. Maybe we wouldn't have been here talking. So they gave us a, really, a, a good support. The way what we have, we continue with the building and what have you. Even the generators, the bank finance, the transformer, the bringing of the power here. So, so many things because yeah, the bank has been very supportive, excellent. You're welcome back. Those were the highlights of BOI Impact Cruise visit to Plasmatics Nigeria Limited. You heard from the promoter of the business how he started and how the loans he got from the Bank of Industry turned around his business fortunes. The next segment of the program features two beneficiaries from Sakoto State. Climax is an indigenous lubricant, grease and petrochemicals manufacturing company based in Sokoto. The company engages in services such as oil laboratory, lube audit and survey, used oil analysis, oil distribution and third-party blending. At Climax, there are well-organized and carefully implemented quality control laboratories that specify the quality level of each product. Here are the finished products, packaged products. This is here, all the processes is being carried out. So we can move to the factory, the work is ongoing. We can see how the, the process is ongoing. This, these are the process lines. You can see how the product is being produced. You can see my boys. On the, that is the filling line, and you see how the product, after setting the equipment, it will fill the oil and then move it on its own, and then it's being received at the end here. Then you can look at some of the tanks here. This is where we mix all the product, it's being blended together. 
before we take it to the lab, which I will take you to, to show you how all the process is being done in the lab. Chemically, we mix everything together, then return them here to the blending vessels here, where we mix them. The one in the front here, they are the storage vessels for the finishing product. Then the one by the other side, they are the way all the product is being blended together. And we can move further to the lab. This is the laboratory, the quality lab where all the products are being, the formulation is being raised. Before you see what they are doing there, it must pass through all the processes here before, after being satisfied. We now move it, the oil, down to the storage plant there before you see them missing. You see, these are the equipment that aid us in doing that. These are, these are the twin baths here. And this is just a spare in case the two, any of them have any failure. Like this, this viscosity bath is set at 100 and the second one is at 40. Now we determine at the highest, 100 is at the high temperature and then the 40 as a room temperature. And the essence of determining, this helps to determine the viscosity of the engine oil depending on the peg you are blending. This is where the viscosity is being determined. Viscosity have to talk about just the thickness of oil depending we work along with the manufacturer based on the manufacturer of the vehicle, their recommendation, and then we subject it here to get what is re required. We have a water content tester. It helps us so that every oil bringing in, there is no water in it. This is where we check it to satisfy that there is no water, it's completely void of moisture. There's no water in it. And in case there is water, we bring it here, we subject it here, we did the test here. Then he will now tell us the actual volume of water that is present. And then we have a heater somewhere, we will heat it up. And the temperature of 100 degrees Celsius water evaporates. And then we have the lubricant, the, the engine oil. Engineer Patrick Uko said, since 2012, Climax has gained prominence in the production of lubricants for automotive, industrial, marine and other specialty applications for local and foreign customers. Nesit Nigeria Limited is a lubricant industry over the time into trading, buying and say we are a distributor to many lubricant plants in Nigeria, not until 2012 we saw the need that we need to have a product of our own. And we went into third party blend. Then during the process of the third party blend, we saw the need to have our own personal hair blending plants. 2012, we built our personal blending plant producing Climas Petrochemical product named Climas Petrochemica. That we started 2012 as a licensed blending plant in Nigeria here in Sokoto State. Before now, we see there are a lot of uh, fake infiltration of a fake product. And that was actually what gave birth to this. We say, no, we need to have something on our own to have at least to feed the society with the right lubricant. Because often, Many car owners have complained of their in engine being damaged, knocking of engine and all of that. And it's because of the fake products. And like some of them, they don't know the right lubricant. Anyone they see in the market, they just go and pick it. And oftentimes, there are a lot of complaints. Many cars have out of use today. Not because they have reached their lifespan. It's because of the bad lubricant. And because of that, we saw the need for us to come and to give the country the right lubricants to use in their car in order to give them the long life, the long lifespan of their vehicle. And that was the reason we set up the industry. And since the time we, we set up the blending plant here, since 2012, many people that have used the product, nobody have ever complained. I think among the, uh, the registered blending plant, the lubricant in Nigeria, I think Climax have been rated one of the best lubricant plants now set up here in Nigeria because many have used it. And not only that, we have even a blending plant in Dubai that is functional because we are given the API, API American Petroleum Institute 
we have licensed of not only the DPR here, Department of Petroleum Resources here in Nigeria, we have been licensed now to import our product to every part of the world. He highlighted some of the effects of BOI support in the business. The Bank of Industry have actually helped us tremendously because when we started, we were having a challenge with capital because to set a blending plan is demand for a huge capital. And we went to them. They saw we started actually as a third party blend. We could not set up our own plant on our own without the assistance of the government. So we now went before the Bank of Industry. We lodged our complaint and they listened to us. They gave us loan and since then we have been operating. That has helped us. Today the company has been able to engage a lot of people now that are salary earners here today through the effort of Bank of Industry. It has helped us to achieve equipment. You see some of the material, uh, the, the equipment we use there. We bought a lot of equipment that aid us in the production today. You cannot say you want to set up a blending plant when you don't have an equipment. But they help us greatly. We are able to purchase some of the plastic uh, uh, machin machinery we where, where purchased through the loan given to us. Like as you rightly see in the production floor, some of the equipment, the, 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 some of the equipment you equally see there, they were purchased through the assistance that the Bank of Industry rendered to, uh, to us. Located at 48 Aliu Jodi Road, Sokoto, Bayou Multi Resources is a company that specializes in all kinds of nylon, plain rolls, bread paper, packaging bags, and many more. Welcome to Bayou Multi Resources. We are makers of pure water rolls, bread wrapper, packing bag, and other poly products. Let me show you around the company. The process starts from here. We do the printing from here, and from here, we bring it to this place. They cut and they, they pack it from here. This is how we do the bread. This is our raw material. We call this one BOPP, and this is for the water room. This is the water room for pure water. We also pack it for pure water. And these are some of our products that are ready to be exported to the Nigerian Republic. We package this one and we send them to the Nigerian Republic. They are all, these are finished products for Waterloo. We send it to the Nigerian Republic. Welcome to packing bag session. This is the side we produce our packing bag for water, water rolls. This is a bundle of packing bag. We produce it from this machine. These are the extruder for the packing for the production. Here. The extruder extrudes the, 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 the rolls from here and we collect them in rolls. We bring them to the cutting machine. The cutting machine cut them and seal them at the bottom. We call this one bottom sealing cutting machine. So the work of this is to cut the rolls of the pure water at the back, to cut, to cut the rolls and seal it at the bottom. So once it's cut, it comes like this and we package it like this and it's all ready for export. We also export to Niger Republic and we also sell to pure water manufacturers in Sokoto, Kebi, and Sampara states. The executive officer of the company, Mr. Emmanuel Adebayo, spoke on why the business was created. We came on board in 2015. Precisely, we started operation in 2016 here in Sokoto. And we noticed that people buy poly products mainly from Lagos and Kano. And we see that there is huge market here in Sokoto. So we decided to fill in that gap by coming in to set up a factory here in Sokoto. And ever since then, we've been, we've been running the business and we've been doing well. We understand people from neighbor, our neighboring countries, Niger Republic and Benin Republic, they, they don't manufacture things that we do. And we see that these people are coming, they have to negotiate here to Lagos before they get their product. So we decide to say, okay, we can decide to fill in that gap and by staying in the, in the strategic location of Sokoto and there they can have access to us and we can also have access to Lagos to bring in semi-finished goods from Lagos. They will pack, we'll finish, we'll finish them and package it and the people from the Republic and Benin Republic, they are taking advantage of this and they are buying from us instead of them going far to Lagos. Now for us to stay here and for people to come and buy from us here, we decided to 
follow the pattern of Lagos standard that is the standard they are getting elsewhere they can get it and also here too we have our certification by uh, uh, SON we are SON certified our product are top notch we produce top quality product because if we don't produce top quality product people we are competing with have this product and if we cannot compete like this with them there is no way we will be in business he narrated further on the instrumental role of the bank of industry in the company's operations bank of industry has come to us at a very strategic time in our in our growth as a company we needed to make some expansion bank of industry rendered that shoulder for us and we are really grateful to them at this at this very point in time it has really helped us in a way to expand our business and they don't give us trouble they they understand the situation of the country and they also manage us and they follow up from time to time with, we have good customer relationship with them and we are really happy with the, with, the, with the relationship with them before joining BOI we have about eight seven staff now we're about 22 when we assess credit from them they gave us monitoring period of six months and this enables us to stabilize we never say okay from the day one of the the the, the investment of loan they've been knocking on our door they gave us period to have some level of stability and this has helped us in keeping up to staff salary and other other things like that now if those entrepreneurs could do it you can also do it bring your business ideas to us and together we will bring them to fruition we have different funds and platforms to craft a perfect fit for your business in addition to financial support, BOI also provides much-needed business advisory and capacity-building services by leveraging the bank's strategic partnership with business development service providers. For more information on how to benefit from the bank's loans and services, simply log on to www.boi.ng. I am Shion Olagunju. Thanks for watching.